I'd like to introduce Jerry Abbas, a distinguished member of the California Wrestling Hall of Fame, class of 2006. Uh, Jerry, congratulations. Thank you. It's a big honor for you. Uh, in your wrestling career, who would be the individual that had the greatest influence on you? Well, I think my older brother, Greg Gascon. He was uh, competing in college the same time I was in high school. And I just remember looking at the wrestling publications all the time, looking for his name. And uh, whenever I saw his name, I just get excited and, and say, that's my brother. And I think he was definitely my inspiration. Yeah, that's awesome. He was a, a good role model for you, yeah. too. Uh, who was your idol when you grew up? I, I'd have to say, uh, uh, when I first uh, got into wrestling, John Smith was winning world titles while he was still in college and he had a different style that really made him stand out and uh, that was something that I really uh, uh, wanted to emulate and uh, I knew I wanted to shoot low singles like he did. Mm -hmm. uh, how did you get started in wrestling? Well, my brother uh, Greg, like I mentioned a second ago, was wrestling in, in college and uh, he had actually just called and said there was a tournament uh, near you this weekend if you want to go wrestle and I never practiced or competed before. Uh, I had some of his old wrestling shoes, so you know the, the my very first tournament was actually at Oakland Tech High School, wow. and uh, it was a freestyle tournament. And uh, from there, I joined the the club there at Oakland Tech, and then I ended up going to the high school there. Oh, that's amazing! It's a great story, one of the true Oakland success stories, yeah. which is a tremendous thing. What what are some of the aspects of your character that enabled you to be successful in wrestling? Well, I think uh, I think I'm a creative uh, individual. I, I think I like to think outside of the box. Uh, uh, you know, when I, I about my speech that I gave today uh, in the banquet, break dancing really uh, really added to that creative uh, uh, a aspect of 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 self expressing your uh, self expression, and I think I really correlated that. Uh, to wrestling and, and uh, uh, expressing myself when I'm out there competing, not only just just to play the game, but also to say, you know, uh, this is what I've done and this is me. And there's has to do with uh, that self-expression aspect of it. And uh, just I think it comes from either it was I was you know born with it or something that was nurtured through the break dancing, you know, that competitive atmosphere. But I'm, I'm probably a little bit of both, I would think. It's great. Uh, is there one memory that uh, sticks out in your mind? You've had a lot of great accomplishments throughout your career. Is there one thing that sticks out more than others? Uh, well, I tell you, my, the first year that I placed at the NCAs, you know, my brother had placed as a senior year, and and I remember how him placing at that tournament uh, when I was in the 10th grade had given me so much uh, inspiration. And once I had placed my freshman year, that one match that uh, was a really a nail-biting match, I, I came up on top right away, scoring three or four takedowns. And right in the third period, the guy threw me to my back for five, and I got away and it turned out to be go into overtime. So uh, I get a takedown in the overtime and uh, I, on the video you could just see see the, the just the excitement that my brother and, and Coach Delito had. Uh, Delito, you could hear Delito saying, Abbas is an All-American, you know, in that raspy <laughs> voice of his. Abbas is an All-American. Yeah, and, uh, and, I, and I could never forget how happy I was that night. It was like Christmas, you know, and I'll, I will say that that year placing as a freshman six was, w was more than play, being in the finals the other three years. It was so funny. I have to say that, you know, the, the uh, medal rounds uh, to get into the placing rounds were Friday night, and then Saturday the medal rounds were, well, all Friday night I didn't sleep a wink. Mm -hmm. I stayed up all night as if Christmas was the next day, and I never forget how Delito no knocked on my hotel door and uh, and said, "Are you ready to go?" And I I said, "Oh, it's time to go already," because I hadn't slept, and I was just uh, that was the 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 thing that really had stood out, you know, and uh, I think that was definitely the biggest turning point. Uh, for me, the biggest tournament for me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, is there one match that stands out more than others? Well, I would say it was that match. The to make one an match. Yeah, to be an All American. Yeah. Yeah, I wrestled really? Shannon Gillespie from Lock Haven mm -hmm. in the uh, in the quarterfinals of uh, or the semifinals of the consolation. 
winner of that match was guaranteed All-American. So that was an intense round. A great accomplishment as a freshman, without a doubt. Uh, why did you decide to become a coach once you finished? Well, you know, I, I think the, the creative aspect uh, is something that allows the wrestling is a type of sport that since it's individual, you know, I think I, I want to get people to see wrestling as a way of expressing themselves and, and showing that their hard work uh, is paying off out there. Uh, I think uh, I think I liked the uh, enjoyment of, of working with kids and, and showing them a wrestling move and maybe he'll go out to a tournament and he'll hit that move and, and maybe a light will go off in his head and, 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 uh, and think that he could do good things. And I truly stand behind one wrestling move you could teach a kid and it could change his whole wrestling career. Uh, technique to me really is, is a strong tool where you can see direct uh, ways of how it inf uh, inspires and influences kids, just their mentality. I think technique teaches a kid to swing back at very least, but at very best, when you see the technique at its very best, it almost transcends the sport and becomes something even greater than what it's what, what two men out there struggling against one another and that's where my passion will always remain in the technical side and teaching that and and seeing that artistic expression being uh, executed out there there's really a lot of art in our art sport form. yes yeah, it is i consider it a martial arts mm -hmm. by all means yeah now if you're going to do things over would you do things differently in your career not not really you know, I, I tell you, coming out of uh, coming out of high school, I, I wanted to go to Arizona State because they had just won the NCAA's. You know, and uh, and I was doing everything I could to contact them, but Bobby Douglas would wouldn't give me the time of day. I hadn't I didn't have the credentials uh, at that time, uh, and I signed early to Fresno State, and I ended up winning a couple high school national tournaments afterwards. Actually, it was a junior nationals and the Espar nationals that same summer, and. Uh, and who knows what could have happened after after that. But when I look at my college career and I see the record that I have, uh, no one can say that my record could have been different if I would have went somewhere else. And I truly believe I could, you know, who would have said I could have won one or two more matches uh, in my college career, which would have changed things. But, uh, no, you know, I, I definitely wouldn't have changed the, the relationships that I built here with, in Fresno and experiences and the life lessons that I've learned are, are invaluable. Mm -hmm. And I will take that with me to my next, my next destination. Sure, and you know, you're still young, you have a great mm -hmm. career ahead of you, so this may seem like a strange question, but what would you like people to remember about Jerry Abbas? Well, I, I think that, uh, again, talking about the technical aspect of the sport, I really appreciate the technical side, and I think that's where uh, I, I uh, have a lot of passion in that, in that field, uh, teaching technique and allowing people to open doors and see that they could do great things for themselves. It's so simple, and I think that's, that's what I want to be known by, that, that through technique, you could reach a kid. And you don't just have to be tough on them, but you could show them something, give them some tools, and see what they can do. Oh, good, you. I think you've proved that time and time again. Thank you. And congratulations Thanks. for uh, being selected to be in the Hall of Fame. I appreciate and it. Good luck in your future career. Thank you very much.